Okay, <clears throat> I want to talk to you uh, this evening. The topic I want to talk to you about is emotion. Uh, you might have heard about emotion. Yes, you do. You know, and then so the point becomes: what is emotion? Uh, what are emotional behaviors? Emotional behaviors are behaviors that we exhibit or that we carry out during the time of sudden happening or when we are angry or somebody gets us mad, you know, or in difficult times. And so emotional behaviors or emotional things are things that we do that after a while when we have come down or after some period of time that we can regret ever doing it. You know, so you can agree with me that uh, there have been some times where your son or your daughter or your husband or your sister have done something to you and you were so angry, you know, and you just wanted to really take the stick and just beat him or beat her, you know, or you just wanted to divorce your husband, you wanted to leave your wife or the kids because something happened at that time, you know. It takes control over our body, you know, at that time, but it doesn't last with us. You know, so if we allow it to control you, once our emotion can take control of our body, it gets us into trouble. It puts some people into trouble, some people go to jail. You know, they go to commit crime, they go to beat somebody, break their hands. You know, if some people take going and shoot, and then after a while they come down and they begin to regret. So those things that make us to behave that are not true representative of ourselves during normal and stable time are emotional behaviors or emotional things that we do. So one of the things that then we have to try to identify is how can we really be able to not respond or do things, you know, doing that emotional stage of our life. You know, because one thing I want to say to you the way I do it, maybe my line from that is I have tried to tell myself that I'm never at my best whenever I'm angry to respond. I have told myself that whenever I'm angry or somebody get me angry, somebody do something very really bad to me, you know, either my wife or my girlfriend or my children, my brother, when it really they do it to hurt me, I have to tell myself that that I am not good because I have realized that things that I say or things that I do, after that time, maybe say the next day or after a few hours, I can begin to have a real solution or real nice ideas as to how I should have gone about doing it. So if you want to follow me, then we are going to have to say here from today that whenever we get angry or somebody get us mad, or it is our son, our family, we going to have to discipline ourselves. Somebody can do it for us to say, well, okay, now I'm not going to respond at this time because I know I'm not at my best when I'm really angry. I'm going to take a deep breath. I know this. And you sit down. You know, after that time, a period of time, you will already be able to think about it. And then at that time, whatever decision that comes to your mind that you want to react, you will be sure about it. You can stand by it. You can defend it. You can be proud of doing it. You know, it doesn't stop you from doing things you want to do, but only that it makes you to calculate. You know, it makes you to actually think about it and it makes you to do it. That will be true representative of your character of who you are. You know, so from today, as we move forward, you know, in building our country, Liberia, and our children and our family, one of the greatest things we really have to do is to be able to behave ourselves, work on ourselves at a time when we are angry or at a time when we are in an emotional situation. You know, we can bear it to work on it. Emotional behaviors make some people to even go and steal. You know, they go and steal and after a while and they regret, why did I do that? You know? So this is what I want to talk about today, about emotion, and I hope you were able to find it interesting. So and I hope that as of today, that whenever you get angry, somebody hurts you, you already be able to give yourself time. Don't let somebody take charge of your future. Don't let somebody have control over your time, over your peace, over your happiness. Don't do that. Because if you allow somebody to get you angry, and that anger makes you to do something that you would not have done it otherwise, you have given control of your right. You have given control of your happiness to somebody. That means at any time they can press that button, they can get you to doing things or saying things that you will not have said or you will not have done otherwise. Okay? All right. Thank you very much. If you like this particular statement that I have just made, just email me and say you love it. You can share it with your friends and family. Thank you. Again, this is Moses B. Tambasin from LiberiaMe.net. This is just one of the presentations about motivational statements, and I hope to bring you many more. Bye-bye.